Greetings from the far side of the galaxy, I'm Fury, your host the most, here to tell you a story about titties. I'm writing this as we're at like 997 subscribers, but I'm gonna take a risk here and break out the party poppers. <laughs> we probably reached 1000 subscribers! Yeah! So let me give you all a heartfelt thank you. We aren't quite at monetization, we still need like 2000 hours of watch time, so my Kofi and Patreon are down below. That being said, let's start the video. What does your favorite Osamo hero say about you, part 4? Up first is Sathogwa, just sort of felt like using him since he's the next Osamo hero after all. Sathogwa fans, I recommend you sit down, I have some unfortunate news to share. I'm sorry to say, but Sathogwa is Osamo's token straight. Hey, 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 don't shoot me, I'm just the messenger. Look at his unique dialogue for love relationships, he has one for Arachne and one for Hawkman, but not the player. That's right, one of, if not the most popular tycoon doesn't even get special lines for the player. And roommates with Hawkman? Yeah, sure, that's what historians are going to say when digging up their grave. Sathogua is Osamo's token straight, and you may not like it, but them's the breaks. Number 2, Sendayu. He's the Dr. Pib to Mr. Mononobe's Dr. Pepper. Not what you want, but eh, he'll make do, I guess. Our first non-furry character of the day is number 3, Dunzo. And speaking of love relationships, you see how many Gunzo has? Dudes like Yoyogi's bicycle. Everyone gets a ride, Jesus. After that, let's pick number 4, Hati. Listen, I get it, attention is good, it makes you feel all nice. But you might want to go for someone with a bit more self-control. Number 5 is uh, Narlanthotep. I have no idea what fetish that hand tail thing is for, but I am judging you for it. And I love Narlanthotep as much as the next guy, but you can do better. Number 6 is Snow. Okay, so I know this isn't his Osamo Hero video, we'll get there, but in Tibetan folklore it was the female lions that were known to raise heroes. Moreover, their milk was said to heal the body and restore harmony. But that is something the lionesses did, but Snow can clearly, uh, do that too. So in conclusion, Transmask Snow? Transmask Snow. God damn, try saying Transmask Snow three times fast. Ugh. And speaking of trans mask and gender, we have number 7, Ibaraki. They could be your subby king or your subby queen, and you know what? Iconic. We stand. Number 8, Q Mao. I know we all love a sugar business daddy, but I would like to direct you to his abs. Oh my god, you could grind meat on him. Number 9, Shiva. I get why you're into him. That body is to die for, but like. The last time he got horny, someone died, so uh, yeah, just keep that in mind. Number 10, Kimun Mr. Daddy Kamui. Okay, so his 4 star is called Valiant Giver of Trials, right? But his unit is fire type. I'm not complaining, no way, actually yes I am, he should be valiant type and that will forever bother me. Number 11, Win Kamui. Hey, if he has different voice lines and even a different name in the text box, he counts as a different character. Anyways, this is the kind of daddy you want to go on a nice camping trip with. You do all kinds of stuff like each other, like fishing, trapping, and all of that other outdoorsy dilf goodness. Number 12, Durga. I know I already used this clip, but it works too well to not use it again. Oh my god, you could grind meat on it. Future Fury here just realized that her 4 star art doesn't actually show her abs, so uh, whoops. Number 13, uh, let's go with Israfil. Zabania, but for weirdos, but like the basic weirdos, you know? Like those basic weirdos who think enemies to lovers is spicy. Oh, did you know he's getting a statue? Although it's just a reskin, which is kinda funny. Let's show these basic bitches what a real problematic fave is with number 14, Fushi. Where do I begin with this man? Do I start with his rampant misogyny or do I dive into the deep end with his uh desire for his sister? He's problematic, he's our fave, now let's move on before he gets me into trouble with YouTube. Number 15, Breek. All right, just let me go through the list here. From the future, kinda, Utopia's weird, has a sword, very blue and very angie. Yeah, you definitely had a crush on future trunks. 
Number 16, the newbie NB Gorozymon. You're non binary Like you don't have any binary? That's so poggers. Number 17, Sun Grosnir. Putting aside literally everything else about this guy, he makes do, and that makes him a top tier husbando. Get out of here with your muscles, I don't want your bulges, I want stew. Just stew. Number 18, Garmir, or is it Garmer? We'll figure it out. Who's a good boy? You're a good boy, yes you are, you are. Number 19, Masanori. It's not that he's evil. He lacks empathy and he goes into a dissociative state and commits atrocities. Number 20, Alp. I don't know how you could want anything to do with this guy when he's always rhyming. Imagine you're trying to have a nice dinner date when he's over here reciting Dr. Seuss. Could not be me. Number 21, Kuniyoshi. I can't believe Life Hunters just came in and snatched all of our wigs just like that. Number 22, The Smoky God. I'm not clever enough to make a weed joke, so I'm just going to play this clip Smoke weed every day. and call it a day. Number 23, Boogeyman. You know he's into that weird stuff, like the stuff so weird you'll have to explain to the cops that everything's consensual. Number 24, Goemon. You have a thing for losers, which makes you a loser, so self-love is good, I guess? And finally, number 25, Benton. Let's end this video the exact way we started by looking at her love relationships. She has one for Ebisu, uh-huh, Licked, yeah, Ida, huh, Ida, and Kagatsuchi, and Nobunharu, and Agyo, and Kenta. We're just gonna stick you right here. Well, that's the end of the video. I don't really have much to shill other than my Kofi and Patreon and maybe watch some of my other stuff. That being said, this is your host Fury signing out.